Welcome back. Now, in the last process, we discussed not having a direct connection to platforms such as JVZoo, which does not have a direct connection to MailChimp or Etsy, even though it does have one with a Weber. Now, when it comes to Etsy, it is important to note that you can connect to your own website platform if you build one inside of Etsy using their system called Pattern. However, if you want to use the marketplace at large, there is no direct integration or connection. But Etsy does integrate with Zapier. Now for some integrations, Zapier does suffice with a free plan. However, in some cases, you will need their starter plan in order to make some connections. However, you can try the service free and you'll be able to determine based on the cloud-based services that you use whether you're going to need a free plan or a paid plan if you want to make an automated connection between those two services and your MailChimp account. Now inside of Zapier, you're going to need to connect all of the applications that you want to use first to Zapier and then you'll want to connect them to each other through Zapier. So we have already connected our JVZoo account to Zapier for the purposes of this video. We're now going to look to find out if JVZoo can connect to our MailChimp account. So we've stated that we want JVZoo to connect to an app. We're now going to write in our MailChimp account. Once we do that, we're then going to click connect. Now there is an existing integration where we can add customers to a MailChimp list from a JVZoo refund. Now that's a popular connection. We're going to choose our trigger. So we're going to go here and we want the trigger to be a new sale within JVZoo. What we then want to happen is we want to have a subscriber added. Now, if we hadn't connected our JVZoo account, we would need to connect it. And we'd need to do it by clicking this button that says connect a new account. And we'd need our JVZoo account API key. So what we're now going to do is click continue. What we're going to do is choose a specific value. We're going to choose a specific product. And once we've connected our JVZoo account and our specific product, we're going to then choose a MailChimp account. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to connect our JVZoo account. So we're going to go to this area and we're going to click connect a new account. What we're now going to need to do is to log in and authorize to connect to Zapier. We're going to need to allow Zapier to talk to our MailChimp account. Now that our MailChimp account is connected to our Zapier account, we can use it in any other connection that we want to make, even though we're only using it right now for this specific one with JVZoo, we can reuse this connection for any other connection we want to make within Zapier. And that's going to be important for future processes. What we're going to do now is we're going to select the use of that account. And we're now going to click continue. What we're now going to do is select a specific audience. And we can select the audience that we have been working with. Now when we're working with MailChimp within Zapier, we're going to need to go through a mapping process. And so you're going to see in some cases that some information is going to be required. In this case, subscriber email is required. So we're going to then go and get a specific subscriber email. We can then click continue. Now what you will have done is you will have made it so that when an individual purchases a specific product in your JVZoo account, they will then be added to a specific list in your MailChimp account. Now if you go to Zapier, you will notice that there is no direct connection from Zapier to the website Etsy. That means then that we will not be able to connect our Zapier to MailChimp and Etsy using this integration. However, we do notice that there is a direct connection between Etsy and Aweber. So what we can do inside of Zapier is that we can connect Aweber 
to our MailChimp account. Now this would mean that you would need to have access to two email service providers in order to undertake this. So if you are willing to do that, and you're willing to have someone added to a specific list inside of Aweber when they made a purchase inside of Etsy, we can then have that same person connected to our MailChimp account. And to do this, we're going to need to both connect Aweber as well as our MailChimp account. And so we're going to click Aweber. And again, what we're now going to do is we're going to write in our MailChimp account. And so there is a popular connection between Aweber and MailChimp that other people use. We're going to try the one that is existing, where we're going to connect new Aweber subscribers to MailChimp as subscribers. Now, if you have an existing Aweber account, but you have not connected it, you'll need to connect it. And you'll need to click this button in order to connect your Aweber account to your Zapier account. Once you've done that, you'll select your Aweber account. What you'll then do is click continue. Zapier will then require you to choose the account as well as the list. Zapier will then have you test that part of the trigger before you move on to the next step. Once you've done that, you'll then click continue. You'll then be ready to connect your MailChimp account. And you're going to choose this particular action and then click continue. You'll then select your MailChimp account. Now it's important to note that if you had multiple MailChimp accounts, you could connect them all to Zapier and you can use different ones for different purposes. We're now going to click continue. We're now going to select a specific audience. And what we've now done is we've now set up so that when an individual is subscribed in Aweber to that specific list, they're then going to be added to a specific list inside of our MailChimp account. Now, if you recall, the connection that was made to our membership plugin goes only in one direction. That means then that when an individual is added to our membership, they're then added to our MailChimp account. However, what if we want to go in the other direction? Meaning, if an individual is added to our MailChimp account, we would then want that individual to be added to a membership inside of our wishlist member plugin. We could then accomplish this through Zapier. For example, we can click Make a Zap. And this time, we want the trigger event to start with our MailChimp account and we want there to be a trigger event. And we want there to be a new or updated subscriber. What we then want to do is go to continue. We then want to connect that MailChimp account that we are going to be using. We're then going to click continue. We're going to choose our specific audience that we have set up. We're going to click continue. We're then going to click test this trigger. What we now want to do is we want to connect a specific application. And in this case, we want it to be our membership plugin, which is going to be wishlist member. And so we're going to click on wishlist member. Now this time, what we want the action event to be is we want there to be a member added to a specific level. We then want to click continue. We're then going to choose a specific wishlist member account. In this case, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to connect a wishlist member account. That's going to bring us to a dialog box. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do as instructed and go to this area inside of our WordPress website. That means we're going to come back to our setup we're going to come back to our integrations. We're going to go to our other services and we're going to find our Zapier connection. What we're then going to do is to turn on our Zapier connection. What we're then going to do is to get our Zapier API key. Well, now we need to write in that Zapier key as well as our wishlist member URL. We'll then click continue. 
our account is now connected to Zapier. So now what we can do is we can go and we can look for that specific wishlist member account. So now what we can do is we can go and look for that specific wishlist member account, then click continue. What we can now do is set up a specific action. We're going to select a specific email address. We're now going to select a specific level inside of our wishlist member installation. And we only have one level, so we're going to select that one. We're then going to click continue. So what we have done now is when an individual is added to our MailChimp account, they're now going to be added to a specific membership inside of our wishlist member installation. So now that same individual that made a purchase from our Etsy account can now be added to our MailChimp list as well as to our wishlist member installation. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in the next process.